Hello friends, today let's so find the shortest super string. Given an array A of strings, find any smallest string that contains each string in A as a substring. We must assume that no string in A is substring of another string in A. So let's see these two examples. We can see Alex loves Lee code. These three strings do not have any overlap. So the shortest super string is just the concatenation of these two strings and the permutation is not matter. That means Lee code loves Alex is also correct. How about example two? We can see that uh, there are many overlaps between any two sub uh, two string, such as C A T G and uh, A T G C A T C. We can see that A T G are you know are overlaps, so we can merge these two string and uh, so on so forth, and finally we can get this result. So let's first uh, think about this problem. How to find the superstring of two strings? This is the case, uh, case one, when the two strings do not have any overlap. So the superstring is just the concatenation of these two strings. The case two, we can see that only if the last uh, substring equal to the first substring of a string S, we can merge them. We can use the common place. So the super string will just be C A T G and uh, C A T C. And you may find out that actually this is the S dot substring 0 to 4 minus 3. 4 is the length of string 1, and the 3 is the length of the overlapped uh, string. And actually, the second part is, is just uh, the string 2. And this is another situation when the first part of the string 1 is equal to the last part of string 2. You may think it's just these two strings change their place. Switch, you, you may think that like that. So the shortest superstring will be G, C, T, A, and uh, A, G, T, right? Uh, the same. This first part is S2 dot string, substring 0 and uh, 4 minus 3. The, uh, the second part is the string 1. Okay, how about uh, we will, uh, there are more than two strings. Like if at first there are five strings, and we will choose two strings to merge them, then we get the S6. And then we choose two string to merge them. Then we left uh, three string and so on so forth. And at the last, we only have one string. It will be the result. But how do we choose which two string to merge? Actually, we uh, if you think like that, uh, we will combine all the string and uh, try to compare the you know the overlapped uh, part. If the overlapped part is longest, we know if we merge these two strings, we can save more characters in the final string, right? Like if one combination is cat and a, a THZ, they only have the T the same, so we save one character. But when it's cat and at crazy, we know at is the same, so we can save two characters. So we may choose these two string to merge. So at, the, at each level, we will try to compare all the combination and uh, uh, you know, save the longest overlap part. And we merge these two string and add this new merge string to the list and remove these two original string from the list. And finally, when the list only have one string, it will be the result. So wrap up. We need a method called merge. We merge the string S1 and the string S2. And this is one situation. This is another situation. And uh, actually, it can be concluded uh, to this one of these two situations. Once we go, 
you know, from the end of the S1 and from the beginning of uh, S2. One is go from the beginning of S1 and uh, the end of the string 2. Okay, then we return a merge the string, right? Uh, and uh, we will add the merge string to the list and remove the original two string. And when the list only have one string, it is the result. So we are given a string array. So first we need to uh, change it to string list. And we compare all the two string combination and try to find the two string which their overlapped part is the longest. And we add this merge string to the list. So if you understand the algorithm, you can stop and write your own code and finally compare your code with mine. Okay. So now let's write the code. We first need the list, right? We call it list. And actually we change it from the array. So there will be arrays as list A. And let's write the merge part. We return string and merge. This is string S1, string S2. And we first get the length 1, which is S1 dot length. And the length 2 is S2 dot length. And uh, one case is that we start from the uh, end of the S1 and from the beginning of S2, right? So for int length, which is the length of the overlapped uh, part, I started with one. And um, you know, actually there are two cases of the substring. One is the substring, which is the begin index uh, till the end. Another is substring. We give it two parameters, which is the begin index and end index. So if we do not uh, uh, you know, indicate the end index. It will just uh, uh, go to the go to the end. So the first, uh, if we go start from the end of the S one, the part we need to compare actually is, um, you know, if like A B C D, we need to compare C D right. This is the overlapped part, and this is S one. So we needed to make sure that uh, length one minus length is greater or equal than zero, right? This is length one. We minus it length, it should be greater or equal than zero. And uh, the length should also be less or equal than length two, right? Um, otherwise, it is uh, meaningless. And we every time we increment this length, right? So when the S1 dot substring, then the begin index is length one minus length. This is the length. CD is length, for example. The start index is length one minus this length. And if it equals to the S2 substring, and the part we need to compare actually is like C, D, E, F. We start from zero. And the end index is length. So if it's the same, we need to save this length. Uh, we call it overlapped one equal to the length. So at first we need two variable. One is overlapped one equal to zero. And overlapped two equal to zero. Okay, another case, just switch this two string. Start from one and the length two minus length greater or equal than zero and uh, less less or equal than length one. The length increment by one. Uh, this time we start from the beginning of the string one and the uh, end of the string two. So there will be s2 dot substring length 2 minus length equals to 
S1 substring, there will be zero and the length, right? If they are the same, then overlap it to equal to length. So finally, we need to compare the length of these two parts. If the overlapped one is greater or equal than overlapped two, then we need to return if it's greater, uh, like uh, if it's greater, we need to return this part s2 dot substring 0 and uh, s2 dot length minus overlapped length plus s1. So there will be, we return s2 dot substring start from 0 and uh, length 2 minus overlapped 2 plus s1. Else we need to return if it's uh, less so we need to return s1 substring there will be zero s1 minus overlap it one plus s2 mm. let's check whether it's right the overlapped one actually is the last part of the string one so if it is greater uh, I, I think this should be S1 substring plus uh, length 1 minus overlapped 1 plus length 2. Because actually, uh, if this overlapped 1 is greater than overlapped 2, that means we choose this part, right? So actually, this is S1 dot substring and uh, 0. S1 dot length minus overlap length plus S2. Okay, so this part should be very careful we cannot make mistake it's length 2 minus overlapped 2 plus s1 okay so uh, this currently it should be right okay then all right while true if we get the size of the list and if n equal to 1 we just uh, break we all this while loop and we return list uh, get 0 this is the only string it's the final answer otherwise we need to compare every combination i less than n minus 1 i plus plus and 4 int j equal to 0 j less than nj plus plus sorry this place should be i plus one then s1 will be list get i and s2 will be list get j right then we need to get the merged merge string will be merge s1 s2 and we can get a, a saved length. There will be the original length plus s2 dot length minus merged dot length. So if the saved length is the is greater than the previous saved length, so we need a like kind of global max length. At first, it equal to uh, negative one because it can be zero, right? If saved uh, greater than the max length, then we update this max length equal to the saved. And we also need to save this to index i and j because we need to remove it afterwards. And uh, we also need to save the merge string. So we need to add the three variable. One is the index one equal to zero, index two equal to zero. And you also need a merged string at first is empty string right okay so this part the index one is equal to i 
index to equal to j and the uh, merged will equal to oh uh, sorry cannot call is merge new string okay so this part new string will update to merged so after we get the most saved two string we will remove them from the from the list so list will remove um, actually we need to uh, string one will equal to list get index one and the string two will get index get index two so list will remove stay string one list will remove string two and the list will add this new string Yeah, I think uh, we have finished it. Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> let's think about it. Okay, let's quickly check it. Mm, oh, left. Yes. Mm. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.